Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Fitzpatrick and I'm a senior sales representative here with FlightScope. Today, we're gonna to be going over the FS Golf application and your Mevo Plus. How to navigate the application, how to utilize all of its features, and of course the proper setup and uh, calibration. The first thing we're gonna do is power on our Mevo Plus. And as you can see, we've laid out a tape measure here. We wanna put this eight feet behind our hitting area. And then we're gonna go ahead and go through the connection process. Included with your Mevo Plus, it's gonna be this angle guide that'll help get your kickstand to the proper tilt. I'm just gonna slide that right over the top of the Mevo Plus. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is look for our Mevo Plus Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, it does appear here uh, with our serial number. Go ahead and connect to it. Password is gonna be the same as a serial number. We'll begin with a capital M, two, and the dash. As you can see, we have previously connected, so it will automatically connect for us. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the FS Golf application. As you can see in the top right corner, we do have a full connection status. If we tap on that button, it does give us some unit information. As you can see, our tilt is right about 12 degrees, which is the recommended tilt for all software platforms. And our roll is as close to zero as we can really get it right there. And then we also have what's called our target alignment screen. So as you can see with the tape measure, we're right along the edge of our hitting area. That red highlighted area is gonna be the preferred space to hit your golf shots from, along with your target alignment line there in the center of your screen. With the FS Golf application, uh, we can now utilize it for quite a few different uh, uses here. Uh, the first is gonna be your full swing shots, as you see in the top left quadrant. We can also use it for chipping, which would be more for those chip, uh, finesse chip shots around the putting green. We can use it on the putting green for capturing put, uh, basic putting data. And then we also have what's called swing training, uh, which is where you can use a speed stick or, or weighted uh, sticks to, to utilize uh, speed training sessions. And we'll go through all of these here today. You can also access previous sessions by tapping on the sessions button here on the bottom of your screen. As you can see, it'll even indicate if you have different flight scope units, which unit was used for that session. And you can also see your profile information here along the bottom right. First, we'll start with our full swing exercise. This is made for any shots flying more than 25 yards. As you can see, we have a few different setup modes, whether we're in short indoor, uh, which will be our smallest dimension setup. Um, basically eight feet of ball flight and eight feet behind the hitting area is gonna be ideal for that setup. Your standard indoor setup, which is what we have here in our studio, um, is gonna be when there's you know, a little bit more ball flight space, uh, anywhere from 12 feet to around 40 yards of ball flight, you'll use your standard indoor mode. And then outdoors on the driving range, when we have unrestricted ball flight, that's where we would use our outdoor setup. Now, we can also uh, incorporate our local weather conditions. Uh, my iPad here has cellular data, so it updates automatically. If not, you can connect to your standard Wi-Fi and click this update button here, or like I have, you can have your auto update automatically on for you. And so if you don't wanna use your local weather conditions and you want more normalized data to sea level, you can also use your standard sea level calculations. And that's what I'm gonna use for our, for our session here today. Choose which golf club that you're gonna use. And you can, of course, edit your golf bag here. If we click add new club, you know, we can choose the manufacturer type, the club type, what we wanna name it. Uh, so if we're doing any type of club comparisons or you know, for instructors or, or uh, you know, club fitters using it for a fitting, you can utilize that feature as well. And then we'll also choose our golf ball. You know, if we're at the driving range, we do suggest utilizing that range feature, uh, which will basically normalize that shot to look more like a, you know, a, a premium golf ball. Some of those range balls tend to you know, deteriorate over time with their condition, and so they don't always give the most uh, consistent data. That's where that range ball feature will help uh, you know, normalize things a little bit. After that, we'll go ahead and click on Start a New Session, and this will launch us right into our session where we can hit some shots. So just so we can grab some data on our screen, I'm gonna hit three golf shots for us. Okay, now that we've got some data on our screen here, uh, we're just gonna go through uh, some basic navigation and show you basically most, you know, all the features here of the FS Golf application. As you can see, we do have a few highlighted data parameters along the right side of our screen. Uh, this is fully customizable. Uh, if we wanna remove any of these data parameters, it's a simple double tap with your finger on that data parameter. So we'll go ahead and one by one, just remove each of these again by double tapping. 
And if there are specific data parameters that we do want to focus on, we do the same here along the bottom. So we'll double tap along them here along the bottom and we'll see them appear here on our screen. Just like there, you can also customize the order here on the bottom with this button here that states data order. Here you can drag and drop and move this data around however you see fit. Uh, this way, if you have some specific data that you like to focus on, you don't have to go searching for it after each swing. You can also check the data or the swing or the tracer um, from a few different perspectives. So currently we have it on the DTL or what we call down the line. Here on the left side of our screen, if we switch it to our side view, our top view, we can also choose from the top view to show all shots here within that session for that golf club, of course. We can also press the button here to show all golf clubs hit within the session. If there are multiple clubs and we can then also choose our grouping screen. This will show you dispersion both left to right as well as front to back. And then we also have our perspective view of the driving range, which gives you a little bit different view of that ball trajectory. Now we can also see this data in a few different ways. Uh, from the top right of your screen, you'll see four boxes stacked. This is next to our unit status button. If you tap on that, we'll get a few different screens. Now, my Mevo Plus that I show does have our Pro Package upgrade. Uh, this is a $1,000 one-time fee upgrade uh, that allows you to get additional data parameters uh, for each swing that you take. Uh, things like club path, face to path, all of that in-depth D-plane club data uh, information is then available. And you'll see that as we go through a few of the screens here. The screen that we were just previously on is the 3D trajectory screen. If you're not maybe wanting to see the trajectory, but maybe the data in, in larger numbers, you can definitely do that by just tapping on the dashboard screen. And as you can see, it's all those same data tiles, just in a much larger format. If you wish to again, reorder them, you can choose that data order here on the bottom. And again, reorder these however you see fit. We can also choose to see the data in more of a table version uh, or maybe a, like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, as you can see here, it breaks down all the data. And then as you select your golf clubs that are used, you'll see that they're highlighted in purple. As you can see, you can see your averages here along the bottom. Uh, you can also choose, as opposed to a detailed uh, you know, table that shows every golf swing, you can choose a summarized version, which will just simply show the averages for each club that's hit. You can also not only do this for golf clubs, but also for golf balls. Um, if you're ever doing a ball testing or a ball comparison, uh, you can simply tag each golf ball that's being hit and then you can compare them side by side. You can also utilize the club analysis screen. Uh, this is a 3D picture of the golf club at impact. This feature alone is only part of the Pro Package upgrade. So if you don't have the Pro Package upgrade, you're not gonna get any of this information. Uh, this is vital information that's happening at impact, such as club path, the face to path, your horizontal vertical swing planes. Uh, and as you can see here, you can drag the screen around uh, and kind of see the different angles uh, as they appear on those, on those screens. This is the 3D version. Um, you can also drop it down into 2D here at the top of your screen, little tab button there. Uh, this breaks it down a little easier so that way not everything is, is shown to you at once. Um, and then you can choose uh, the highlighted data parameter here along the left side. Um, so this would be face to target, you have face to path, dynamic loft, and then of course the spin axis. Still have all of your other data parameters here along the bottom of your screen. Now if we switch back to 3D, uh, we also have one more way to view this uh, 3D club data here with our D-plane button, which is up in the top right of your screen. If you tap on that, uh, you'll see how it breaks down the screen into a few different uh, areas here and, and shows the data. Uh, kind of the same data we were showing before, but just uh, showing it in a slightly different picture. Again, we can move this visual around by just dragging our finger over and on the screen. You can zoom in and out uh, by pinching or spreading your fingers apart on the screen, similar to how you'd uh, zoom in and out on a picture and just really dive in to see all that data. So a really cool feature there. We also have our chart screen. Uh, this is gonna be the last screen that you'll see data on for the FS Golf app. Uh, this is gonna be our speed and acceleration profiles. Uh, these are excellent tools uh, to be used for club fitting, um, so that way you can see consistencies and, and see if your shafts are reacting the way you want them to. Um, great club fitting tool that's uh, specific to FlightScope products. Um, if you are a club fitter or if you'd like information on how the speed and acceleration profiles are read, uh, please give our sales team a call. Uh, we can get you documentation that will help further understand how to utilize these because they are read differently depending on the type of golfer that you are, are fitting. Do have an all shots button here as well, so you can see um, the consistency from shot to shot. Again, not just with the speed profile, but then also the acceleration profile. The last tool that we have is gonna be the video analysis. 
And the video analysis is a really cool feature within the FS Golf app because it actually allows us to use multiple cameras if we wish. We're actually gonna show you a, a short demo on how this is gonna work. The first, uh, the first part is gonna be selecting how many cameras you're gonna use. Uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna utilize the iPad camera that's running the software and then the built-in camera on the Mevo Plus device. You can also connect up a cell phone or additional tablet um, as a third and fourth camera uh, using our multi-cam feature. Uh, and you'll see how easy it is to locate that here within this video. On the first thing to do is gonna be uh, to split up in, into our split screen view, which in the top right, you'll see uh, the different tiled views you can do, whether that's gonna be split screen or three cameras or into a quadrant view of four cameras. Again, I'm gonna go with the split screen view. And then from our cameras, uh, we are gonna go ahead and select our standard iPad rear camera, along with our Mevo Plus camera. So the beauty of the FS Golf app and video analysis is that you don't actually have to push any buttons. Uh, once you have your setup and your cameras pointed where you want them, you can physically just take your golf swing. Uh, you, again, you don't have to push any buttons or time anything. Um, the, the software is gonna automatically trim and clip the videos for you. So it'll go ahead and capture the videos. It's gonna capture all of that same data for the swing. And then as you can see, on the bottom left of our screen, we've got a thumbnail image of that video. If we tap on that, it's gonna open up our swing analysis. So from here, you can see both videos that were captured, uh, one from our Mevo Plus here on the right, and one from the iPad camera here on the left. As we drag through, you can see them perfectly timed up. And then we can also, uh, in the top right corner, you can see the, the circle and square. We can draw um, any type of instructional lineage on these videos if we wish. Um, circles, pencil marks, anything like that. You can also change the color of them if you wish. Uh, so that way you can do your full video analysis here from that same application. Now you can also share these videos um, to your social media, um, you know, maybe to um, myflightscope.com so that way you or your instructor can view them. Um, or you can simply email them to yourself or if you're an instructor, you can email them off to your student for something to take home from that lesson. Now, as you see, once we took that video, if we go back into our standard screen, we're still going to get all of that same information. So great to see um, you know, that you can utilize this product for multiple um, uses uh, without uh, you know, having to switch between applications. Now, if you're gonna change golf clubs or, or hit a different shot, it's literally as simple as just tapping on the golf club at the top of your screen, picking the new club that you'd like to hit, and then go ahead and, and swing away. Um, you know, once you get finished up, it is going to show all of that data compiled here in the table screen. Um, and as you can see, that last swing I took with the video does have our play button right next to it. So you know which swings do have videos on them. The last feature um, of the, uh, the FS Golf app is going to be uh, with the data margin settings. Um, the data margins uh, is a great tool to be able to, you know, practice towards a range of numbers as opposed to working on a specific number. Um, and it, it's found here in our menu screen, which is at the top left of your screen. And then you'll notice a button that says show data margins. So if you tap on that, you'll also get a data margin settings tab that now comes out. We can go ahead and um, just create a new one here. So let's say we're working on the carry distance of, of that seven iron shot. So we'll go ahead and just select carry distance. You can of course choose as many data parameters as you wish. Uh, so that way, if you want to work on more than one at a time, you can without having to, to set up multiples. You can, you can literally do it under one data margin. And you'll simply add in um, you know, with the, the smallest value that you'd like to see um, along with the highest value that you'd like to see with that uh, particular club for, for maybe the carry distance or the spin rate or the club path. And, and you'll see what it does here if you're within that constraint once we have that turned on. If you're within that constraint, you'll see it turn up green, but as you can see here, I was outside of that constraint, so it actually lights up red. So you can see as we go through the shots, which ones are within the constraint, which ones are outside of it. So again, you can, you can basically set these, uh, these data margins up, and then as you go through your practice, you can slowly shrink those thresholds to get to that specific number that you'd like to get to. 
So again, just another visual way to learn and utilize the, the data, um, which is a simple feature there on the, on the software. Okay, now that we've gone through all of the features and navigation with the full swing aspect of the FS Golf app, now we're gonna dive into the chipping mode. Now the chipping mode is going to be the same setup. Um, the only thing that's gonna change here is that we're just hitting shots that are gonna fly, you know, typically less than 20 yards. So gonna be those more finesse type chip shots around the green. Uh, as you can see, we still got eight feet between our hitting area and our Mevo Plus. Um, again, I am gonna set just for standard sea level here in Florida. Um, so that's what we're used to playing at. Um, and then I'm gonna use just a sand wedge uh, for the equipment here. So go ahead and just tap on start new session and we're gonna hit a chip shot here so we can see some data on the screen. Perfect, so as you can see, once we hit that shot, it does draw that uh, top view of that ball trace. Not gonna be a 3D ball tracer in this, uh, in this section of the application, just gonna show you over the top view. Um, and it is still gonna capture all of that vital information going on at impact. So it's still giving you all that pro package data within the chipping mode. Uh, club path, face to path, face to target. Um, and we can, of course, you know, hitting multiple shots, you can see all of the trajectories, the grouping screen, just like in the, the full swing uh, functionality. We don't have our, uh, our 3D club analysis within this uh, part of the software, but everything as far as the speed acceleration profiles, the table view, the dashboard, the video analysis, all is gonna function exactly the same as the full swing part of the application. Again, if there is a piece of data that you do like to concentrate on, you can simply add that up to the right side of your screen. So again, that will pretty much cover everything with the chipping section. Uh, very similar to the full swing. Again, we're just hitting shots that are flying, you know, typically less than 20 yards. If you'd like to use the data margins, you can also add that in. Um, didn't go over this earlier in the video, but the surface type here, uh, that is able to be adjusted at any time and it will update your roll and total distance. So as you can see, if we you know, switch it to hard, um, you know, it will give it more rollout, more total distance. If we switch it to soft, it's more of a, you know, it's not gonna give it as much roll or total distance. So you can change that before, during, after your sessions and it will update all of your sessions data accordingly. Moving from the chipping section of the FS Golf app into the putting functionalities, uh, the Mevo Plus with and without the Pro Package add-on will give you putting data. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of putting data available, but it does give you some pretty basic capabilities. Um, so if we tap on putting here, um, you know, we get the ability to uh, set our target alignment, um, same radar setup. We can choose the stimp distance. So if we do know, you know, kind of the speed of the greens, this will help the radar, you know, further understand uh, the environment. And then we can simply uh, go ahead and start our session. I'm gonna hit just one putt so you can see again, the, we're only getting three data parameters here. Uh, which is going to be uh, launch speed or uh, the, basically the, the speed that the ball launches off of the face of the putter, the total distance that the golf ball is traveling, and then the, the ball direction or basically the horizontal launch direction of that putt. So you can see that putt, just a 10 foot putt there, uh, roughly what I hit, and you can see just under 10 feet. Um, so again, pretty basic data here, but it can help you, uh, you know, with, with putting speeds, you know, your lag putting, if you're, you, you watch your ball speeds, you can see, you know, how, how the ball is rolling out and then you can work on your grouping screens here. Um, so again, basic functionality, but can still be very useful. Um, again, you can still utilize the video aspects like in the full swing capabilities. So it does give you, um, you know, even though basic gives you a lot of bit of, of information and how you can enhance your putting skills utilizing the Mevo Plus and the FS Golf application. Again, we can use data margins on this functionality as well. So if you would like to work on you know, specific things, you can set data margins for these as well. Lastly is gonna be the swing training functionality. Um, this is gonna be more for speed training sessions or working on your club head speed. If you don't have the pro package upgrade, you'll simply just see club speed on this screen. If you do have the Pro Package upgrade like my Mevo Plus device does, you'll also get your vertical swing plane and your horizontal swing plane. Uh, this is also vital while you're doing you know, speed training because it can help you, you know, ensure that you're not really ruining your golf swing while you're working on speed training at the same time. For this mode, we're actually not gonna hit any golf balls. Uh, we're simply gonna go ahead and just swing the club in front of the radar and it will go ahead and show us the information. So I'm gonna use my driver and just swing once without hitting a golf ball here. 
And as you can see, the data simply appears on the screen. Um, so you can see your speed, your vertical and horizontal swing plane. And again, you could swing again and again and again, and it'll continue to capture all of that information. Um, you can not just use golf clubs with this. You can also use um, you know, like speed training sticks, uh, you know, weighted speed training sticks, those types of things, if you wish. Not too many screens available on uh, the speed training. Again, if you want to use video, you can. And then, of course, we have the data table here to just show that data in more of an Excel spreadsheet. That will wrap it up for the FS Golf application. Um, that will basically go over all of the functionalities and uses of it. Um, if you ever need to adjust your settings before you start a session or anything like that, you do also have your settings gear up in the top right of your screen. From here, you can manage any of the settings uh, within the FS Golf application, whether that be the radar settings, if you need to register your Mevo Plus device or activate your Mevo Plus Pro package, you can do so directly from this screen. Um, if you'd like to add or change the golf bag up, um, or even if you need to change your measurement units from Imperial to the metric system, you can do that on there as well. And then the other thing you can do is you can also choose your video recording settings. So how long those videos last before and after impact. And of course our support information is also located at the bottom of that um, you know, setting screen here. So if there's any information or any, any help that you may need, um, this is a great spot to start. And of course, always contact our support team if you're in need of any assistance. But that will wrap up everything for the FS Golf application today. Uh, we'll go over uh, further applications or more features as they are released. And again, if you have any questions on the Pro Package or Pro Package upgrade, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to our sales team. Um, it is a very easy process to get you upgraded and get you that additional data. Thank you.